Hi everyone, it's Carrie from Crochet Calendar Dolls. Uh, I took out my crochet hooks tonight, so I decided also just to turn on the camera to give you a little update what I've been up to. Um, as you know, I haven't been so active lately, but um, I'm still working on the Little Farm. Little Farm was just a concept, or rather it was a challenge to make some uh, farm animals out of balls, basically. So these little fun um, characters with bulgy eyes. Little Piggy, he is finished, and Little Pop, I'm still working on him. Um, but there was some really good development with the legs, so I think I'm going to take the future uh, Little Farm in that direction too, so they have these really fun, more sculpted, movable legs. For those who have done the Piggy, you know he was kind of just, uh, he had some really basic ones, but um, I'm more pleased with uh, the direction of Little Pup. Uh, for those of you who follow me, um, I am probably more interested in uh, interesting stitches and techniques and seeing how we can integrate those things into Amy Groomy. So I'm probably more about the process of discovery and experimenting than, um, than rushing out uh, patterns. So I've had a lot of questions about the invisible join. Uh, which I am really very excited about um, and it's it's a nice way to join because my patterns are based on joined rounds um, and as you know there's no right or wrong way to do crochet or, or Amy grooming I mean it really depends where in the world you're from but I've decided that I'm going to base uh, the patterns on joined rounds because it has a lot more symmetry and I don't have to worry about where the color changes land. So this one is done in joined rounds. You can see there the colors are joined um, without that jog that you have when you do in spiral. So this is how I like to work it. I have three stitches that I'll just finish here and then I'll show you the join. So, one, two, three, and... This was our last stitch. Now in a traditional uh, joined round, you would put it through and pull through a slip stitch. We're not going to do that this time. We're going to pull the loop long. We are going to go in from the back. Um, we're going to wrap this loop around the hook, pull it down, and then do a stitch, slip stitch through. And you want to pull it quite tight so there's no extra thread. And then you do your chain one, and then you're ready for your next round. And your next round starts in the first stitch. like so, and you have your first stitch next round. I'll show you it um, one more time. So I'll finish the last stitch here. That's finished. Pull up a long loop, go in backwards through your joint stitch. You want to loop the thread around the hook. Pull it through, remember that was your slip stitch, pull it really tight, and then do your chain one. And then your first stitch starts right there. And there, off you go. So have fun with it, experiment, and happy crocheting out there. Bye-bye.